Hi guys, Roommighty here, welcome and welcome back again to this channel. At this time I will provide a tutorial on how to install Ubuntu 20 on a virtual box. In this video, I will also show you how to solve the kernel driver not installed error, which usually occurs when we install images on the virtual box. So, let's start it. The first time, you must have Ubuntu image for virtual box. So you must download it. Open your favorite web browser and go to linuxmimages.com. On this website, you can select the images you want to download and install. Starting from CentOS, Ubuntu which consists of several versions and many more. But for now, we will download Ubuntu 20 images. Scroll down the download page. You are given the choice of the download method you want, from premium download or regular download. But this time, I will use the regular download. There is information you should see here. You can use the user login below, to enter the system which you will install later. So let's download the file. After you finish downloading, you have to extract the file, because the file you downloaded is a compress file. Now open your virtual box, we will start the process of importing the image and installing it. To import appliance, click file and select import appliance. Browse to download folder, and select your file. Click continue. Here, you can see detailed information on the appliance settings that you will import. Then click import. Click agree to continue. Wait until import process done. Until here, you have successfully imported the image file to the virtual box. And this is the detailed information from the results of your import image. And now let's try running. Oh no, we get an error. The errors message is kernel driver not installed. So, we have to fix this error. Stay tuned here, and I'll show you how to fix the error. If you search the internet, there are many ways you can try, but not all of them are correct and can fix this error problem. One of them is this way. Go to your root user, and type CS root or clear, and reboot your system. After you reboot your system, now we try again, open VirtualBox, and try running Ubuntu 20 image. Oh no, you still get errors. So, the method we did earlier is not right for you and your system. To solve errors, we will try to use the second method. Let's try it. First, check for VirtualBox update. If you have noticed, there is a newer version of VirtualBox. So, download the latest update from the VirtualBox and install it. Oh no, installation failed. Don't worry, see the following steps. Open your setting, and go to security and privacy. Unlock the key, allow the attention alert, and restart again your system. After reboot, try to install VirtualBox Update.
Yes, installation complete. Now, let's try opening the virtual box again and running the Ubuntu 20 image. Good job guys, we did it, now let's get into the system using the Ubuntu password. Remember, the password is Ubuntu. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you soon.